All right, guys, so looking at the worksheet, let's just do a couple of them together here. Number one, the original is 18 and the new is 10. So we need to find out certain things. So we need to know these notes, obviously. We're still gonna be doing proportions on certain questions like these beginning questions, even though we have shortcuts for other ones. So the question is, what is the change of the original amount? So if we have that memorized, we'll be good for these uh, questions. So let's take a look at number one, and let's set up the proportion. A fraction equals a fraction. So what is the change? Could somebody tell me what is the change from 18 to 10? Eight. eight, right? It's eight. So let's put an eight up here. That's the change. And what kind of change was it? Did it increase or decrease? It decreases, right? So we need to state that at the end. That's what the instructions say. Now. What else do we have on our notes? Original amount, well, the original is 18, so let's put 18 down here, okay? And then over here we have percent over 100, percent over 100, there, I don't see any percents here, so I'm gonna put X for the percent, and it's always gonna be over 100, whether you have the percent or not. Percent means per 100. So now we're gonna cross multiply, eight times 100, that's 800, uh, 18 times X, that's 18X. And we're gonna divide by 18, divide by 18, and on the calculator, go ahead and do 800 divided by 18, and you will get 44.4444, and it keeps going. So 44.44. Now, what are, what, are we, what are they asking for? They're asking for the percent change. And if you look at the instructions, it says round to the nearest whole percent. In other words, they don't want decimals. What am I talking about here? If this were a, a dollar amount, yeah, I want $44.44. But they're talking about a percent, and they say round to the nearest whole decimal. So what percent do we actually have here? 44, because the 4 doesn't change that to a 5. So this is just 44%. Here's my answer. 44%. Um, and what kind of change is it? It was a decrease. 44% decrease. That is my answer for number one. Let's jump to number five, shall we? So on these, it doesn't give you a percent, so you have to use cross multiply, okay? If, if they gave you a percent, then you could use one of those shortcuts. Um, so they don't give us a percent, we have to cross multiply, we have to make proportions. So it's always uh, is change of the original amount. So let's set up that proportion we have the equal sign a fraction equal to another fraction. Could somebody tell me what the change is? 16. So what kind of change is it, increase or decrease? So it's 16, the change. It is a decrease. So at the end, I'll put decrease. Um, do I know my original amount that belongs on the bottom left? 76. Do I have a percent? No, I don't. So what am I going to put right there? X, thank you. And I do know that it's always over 100. So let's cross multiply, let's set it up. 16 times 100 equals 76 times X. That would be 1600 equals 76 X. To get rid of the 76, I divide by it. Divide by it, and with the calculator, we get X equals, it's ugly, 21.052. But then again, they want us to round to the whole percent. So we just say, 21%. So the answer to number five is 21%, and we said it was a decrease. Got it? Okay, so let's go to a, a different type of question where we don't have to use proportions, like um, down here. We have a jacket, an expensive jacket, $125. And maybe you're buying this like in Idaho somewhere. That's not California, that's not El Centro. Because if it were El Centro, it would be 8.25%. Right here, it's pretty, it's cheaper. Um, so uh, let's use our notes that we actually copied down today. Um, when there's an increase, we're gonna use, the total price will be the original price, parentheses, one plus the rate that it's increasing by, which is a tax rate, but where the percent is written as a decimal. 
So let's do that. Original price is 125. So let's write that down. 125 parenthesis one plus the tax rate, but as a decimal. So this 5.5 .5 tax rate is gonna go one over another over, so it's gonna be 0.055. Once again, 0 0.055. And you could, if you wanted to, add them together. The way I said the magic number for L Central was 1.0825, but let's not add it together. Let's just leave it like that, just so we could get used to this form. That way, in case it's a decrease, then you could put a minus here instead of a plus, okay? So anyway, um, let's actually do this on a calculator, and we will get a uh, final answer of $131.88. Now, why did I say 88? Because the five is gonna change that seven to an eight. So 131.88. That's your final cost of this leather jacket, probably leather, uh, including taxes of 5.5%, okay? So on any of these, we could use these notes Pick one. Which one? Which other one do you want to see? Or should we go down here to like a, a TV or something? You guys want? To, huh? Seventeen. All right. I think we did this one, but uh, in in class yesterday. But you know what? Let's use the notes to to do the shortcut. All right. So this is is this going to be an increase? No, it's a discount. Obviously, twenty five percent off. Now, yesterday we calculated the discount, then we subtracted it from the original. But what we're gonna do today is use this, uh, these notes right here to find the total price when there's a discount. You're gonna take original price, parenthesis one minus the sale percent rate, but as a decimal, okay? So let's do original with one minus the discount, 25% off, but as a decimal. So let's put the original price, 49.99, parenthesis, one minus. Now, the 25 as a decimal is gonna be 0.25. So there it is, 49.99 times one minus 0.25. You could type it straight into the calculator like that, or you could actually do that in your head and say 0.75. I'm just gonna type it exactly the way it is with Parentheses. Remember, use the parentheses button if you're typing it exactly the way it is. And we will get our final answer of $37. That's actually this, 37.4925. So what's our final answer? It's $37.49 because that two does not change the nine. So that's how much your new price of the computer game is. So. The calculator does all the work for you if you know these notes right here, guys. These notes, very important, okay? If there's an increase, it's gonna be original price times one plus the rate as a decimal instead of a percent. If it's a decrease, original price times one minus the rate, which is a percent, but you gotta change it to a decimal. So the only thing we could do now is go for the hardest type of question, something like, uh, 22 right here. On 22, there's both increases and decreases going on, right? So the original amount is 375. And we're going to multiply that original amount. Let's first calculate the discount, the 25% discount of the TV. So I'm going to put one. Am I going to put a plus or a minus right here? Minus. minus, that's right. So let's put a minus. And we're gonna put the 25% right in here, but as a decimal. What is 25% as a decimal? It's 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Once again, it's like moving the decimal place that's at the end, one, two would be 0 0.25. So there's our setup. Let's do it with the calculator and get an answer. If you do that on the calculator correctly, you will get your new total, $281 and 25 cents. That's your new discounted price. 
That's your new price right there, guys. Okay, now we still need to take this new price of $281.25 and pay taxes, right? You go up to the register, whether there's a sale or not, you gotta pay taxes. So right here it says that the taxes is 6%. So do taxes make it go up or down? Makes it go up. So you're gonna put your original amount. Now we're talking about the new price here for the original in this case. So it's gonna be 281.25 times one and since we're doing taxes it's going to increase so you put a plus and the six percent as a decimal will be 0 0.06 and if you do that with your calculator you're going to end up with your final answer which is 298.125 so that means it's going to be 298 dollars and 13 cents because the five will change the two to a three. So $298.13 is your final answer on that one. So this could have all been done with cross multiplication, but it would take twice as long, three times as long, right? So make sure that you understand these notes, make sure that you are able to apply these notes to do these types of questions.